Niall Horan is not just a singer, he has diverse business interests, before becoming an idol to millions of teenage followers worldwide in the early 2010 seconds. Niall Horan rose to popularity as a member of One Direction, the boy been formed on The X Factor. Once One Direction broke up in 2015, Mullinger native Horan released three albums, all of which peaked at number one in Ireland. The band parted ways and experienced varied degrees of success as solo artists. The 30-year-old's net worth was estimated by Heat magazine to be £58.4 million last year. With the release of his most recent album, The Show, and the sales of tickets for his continuing world tour, he probably increased his wealth. Visit. Three months before the show was released, in March, Horan's fully owned Irish registered song publishing company Neon Hayes Song Limited reported $697,500 in profits. In what was a poor year for Horan, who is listed as a director with Limerick accountants Alan McEvoy and Barry Downs, both of Livewire Business Management, the company saw its yearly profits drop from $530,700 to $15,400. Before becoming an idol to millions of teenage followers worldwide in the early 2010 seconds, Niall Horan rose to popularity as a member of One Direction, the boy been formed on The X Factor. After the band broke up, each member has seen varied degrees of success as a solo performer. Mullinger native Horan since One Direction's breakup in 2015, three albums have been released, all of which have peaked at number one in Ireland. The 30-year-old's net worth was estimated by Heat magazine to be £58.4 million last year. The release of his most recent album, The Show, and the sales of tickets for his current world tour are probably what have added to his wealth. Three months before the show was released, in March, Horan's fully owned Irish registered song publishing company Neon Hayes Song Limited reported $697,500 in profits. In what was a poor year for Horan, who is listed as a director with Limerick accountants Alan McEvoy and Barry Downs, both of Livewire Business, the company saw its yearly profits drop from $530,700 to $15,400. Supervisory Business Announcement in 2019 the company paid Horan 2.58 million euros according to the initial set of corporate accounts submitted. According to Neon Hayes, it owed its creditors $108,900 in total between prepayments and accrued income. It also revealed that it had $1.39 million in cash on hand and in the bank for current assets, which were down from more than $2 million in 2021 to just under $1.5 million. The company's debt decreased from $1.35 million at the end of March to $802,300 over the current fiscal year, which included $16,500 to trade creditors, $768,000 in tax and social insurance, and $17,900 in accruals. The directors received emoluments of $29,200 for qualifying services in addition to wages and salaries of $848,100 which is a decrease from $1.5 million in 2021. Horman also owns the business and management consulting firm Jardon Limited along with Horan and Downs, McAvoy is named as a director. He has financed the Cranberries, Boys Own, and Oli Murs, among other acts. The company made a profit of €9,600 during the previous 12 months, down from €79,600 over the previous reporting period. At the end of March, the company recorded capital and reserves of €201,100. One of Horan's UK-based businesses is BAI Touring LLP, which manages the tour production. In April 2022, the company reported net assets of 501000